Welcome back, guys. We got Eddie Murphy on the channel for the first time today. We've never done Eddie Murphy before. Yes. You guys were requesting in those comments. You're like, "Why? when are we going to get to some Eddie Murphy? So we're here. We've arrived. And um, I remember Eddie Murphy, you know, had some real classic movies, The Nutty Professor. Yeah. Dr. Doolittle. Dr. Doolittle. It's one of my faves. Yeah. And, talking animals. Uh, I'm here for it. Yeah, well, speaking of animals, our cat just came out <laughs> as we started talking about Dr. Doolittle. So, you know, <laughs> there must be some resemblance there. But um, we've got... Uh, Eddie Murphy on the channel for the first time, but like got lots of comedians already up, tons and tons. We've got a whole comedy section of like 60 videos. So if you like comedy, this is the place to be. If this is your first time on the channel, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything, yes. and uh, check out that other comedy. All right, you ready to check out some Eddie Murphy? I am. Let's do it. Let's get it. It's a tremendous story. Uh, it was your first season of Saturday Night Live. And you, I guess on the way home or during that period of time, uh, you saw something on a car that you liked in a parking lot or something. Oh, no, 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 so I stole some hubcaps. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> that's, yeah. yeah. But it's not like I, what happened was uh, I used to have to take the train into the city when in my first year at SNL, I would take the Long Island Railroad into the city, and when I came, and I would park in Freeport, right. and I had a car with nice hubcaps on. I came back one night, and my hubcaps were gone, you know, and I took somebody else's hubcaps. <laughs> but it's, it's, but I was on TV already, and I was still popping hubcaps. <laughs> first, I'd like to thank. Um... Could you lift that up, please? <laughs> I can't wait. Eddie, I need your help. It ain't working. Okay. Go like, First, I'd like to thank. Um, <laughs> you said Eddie, pull it up like I was working for him. <laughs> and I started to do it too. I was like, yes, Mike. Wait, what am I doing? <laughs> How old are you now? I'm 33. No, you're that yes, old? I'm 30. Well, you look great. You look like you're 23. Well, thank you. <laughs> now, how old are you? I am 47. And see, so you look 29. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you do to work out? Do you have, like, the personal trainer gig? You no, know my dad used to be a professional boxer, so we have... Uh, so was mine. Really? My dad what was a boxer. What weight class? My dad was a lightweight. Really? So yeah. My dad was lightweight, too. Really? Uh, I met my dad just kicked uh, the hell out of your dad. You, you, <laughs> My dad fought under the name the Bronx Flash. Well, if your dad was that tough, then you should be able to bust my ass. <laughs> Normally, I don't like to kick the guests around, but you know, <laughs> sometimes it is necessary. <laughs> Stay tuned for more of the Sammy Davis Jr. tribute, honoring the one heavyweight I would never dare step into the ring with. Sammy, you're a true undefeated champ. Oh, wait. Uh, I think Mike can do it a little better than that, Mike. <laughs> okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to attempt to read this. This may be disastrous. Okay. Stay tuned for more of the Sammy Davis Jr. tribute honoring the one heavyweight I would never dare step into the ring with. Sammy, you are truly the undefeated champion. The producers of the show, the producers of the show was hoping you'd have a little more feeling, of more Mike, you know, a little bit more Mike Tyson, you know, more Mike Tysonisms, like, like, hello, ladies and gentlemen, Sammy and I was like, <laughs> it's just a lot of cool old people in the old. <laughs> Mike's looking thick in that one. Yeah, I was like, whoa. It's his neck, bro. <laughs> That's wild. <laughs> Days. I met Jerry Lewis. And I met Yul Brenner. R really, had he been on? He was no. On I the met show. him at Studio Fifty Four when I was like nineteen. <laughs> you, you Brenner's at Studio Fifty Four. Yeah, and he, after, he was having a party afterwards. Eddie, would you like to come to my house to party? <laughs> <laughs> it's surreal. And it's did, surreal three times. Did you go to the party? No, I did. Well, he was like six. That was like nineteen. I was like, I ain't going to old man's party. That's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Am I wrong? Did I have an Eddie Murphy doll? There was no Eddie Murphy doll. There was never an Eddie Murphy doll? No, but I was approached for, oh, was for stuff like that when I was, they would come and say, hey, Eddie Murphy doll, you know, the most ridiculous one was Eddie Murphy chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> Eddie Murphy chocolate drink. You put the chocolate in, stir it up, and your face on it, Eddie Murphy chocolate. 
Hey, man. Hey, they had a Murphy's chocolate drink. Like, we had uh, actually had a meeting, and people had drawn stuff up and had stuff. With the, you see, Eddie Murphy chocolate would be very popular in this region. <laughs> first time I met Rodney Dangerfield, that was uh, in Florida at a comedy. It was the first comedian that I met that was famous. And I was about 17, and he came and he bumped me at this club. I was getting ready to go, and he said, Dangerfield's here. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, no. So he went up, yeah, I get no respect. He killed it, blew the whole yeah. place out. Right. Then I had to go up after him, and I did my show. I had a good set, and I went up after him. I said, so what's the danger feel? Like? What you think? He said, yeah, where are you going to go? Because back to Mac was real dirty, dirtier than it was five years when I was 17. Whew, forget about your, it. Your act was dirtier oh, when you were 17? Oh, much dirtier, much dirtier. Like the audience would sit there and look. <laughs> <laughs> and afterwards, I went up to Dangerfield and said, so what you think? And he said, hey, where you gonna go with all of that? And then I saw him again maybe like seven years later, like after Saturday Night Live and after the movies. No, he might not even remember this, in a, in a bathroom in Caesar's Palace. Well. And uh, I'm at the urinal, oh, and uh, Dangerfield walks up and he looks over at me and he just goes, who knew? <laughs> <laughs> Seven years later? <laughs> Michael Jackson had his chimps when I, and you would go to his house that bubble. That's so funny. Just casually in a, a Vegas bathroom. Yeah, and uh, who knew? I could totally see that, that being Rod, Rodney Dangerfield. Yes. That, you know, who knew? I know, the accent too that he used yeah. in the, the um, interpretation or what's, what's the word when you... <laughs> what's the word when what? You Im oh, no, you're you impersonate. Yes, him? impersonate. <laughs> He's impersonating him, being like, yeah. Ooh, like it sounds we've, exactly like him. We've got Rodney Dangerfield up on the channel yes. if you're interested. He's in so good. I love yeah, him. Yeah, he's great. Bubbles chimp when he got a certain age. Yeah, you couldn't f with bubbles. He no. had bubbles in a cage. No, I was it's like, like, don't the, go near no. him. <laughs> <laughs> don't go over there, Eddie. Uh, Do you yeah, go to his house? Yeah, a few times. And the chimp would be ah, going crazy. Is that bubble? They said, yes, don't go near the cage. <laughs> really, I thought Bubbles was mm -hmm, Don't go over there. <laughs> How old are your kids? Like, are your kids going into show business? I have, I have eight kids, and my kids <laughs> range. <laughs> yes, I have, I have eight kids. <laughs> I do. Eddie, I do. Eight kids? I do. Well, now I know why you haven't been here in 13 yeah. years. <laughs> ah. And they go from age three to, to 21, 20. Oh, Eddie. I, I'm the... <laughs> Are you all right? Yeah. <laughs> You're a very, very fertile man. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> very, very dense sperm. Okay. <laughs> That's too much. Now, um... Because <laughs> Tracy told me... Didn't he say he was 33? Or maybe it was a different clip? Yeah, I'm not sure if that was the same clip. He did say 33, but I don't know if that was the yeah, same clip Yeah, maybe it was a different clip. Yeah. Because then he would have been, like, 13 when he had Yeah. <laughs> that you he went to your house and you made him as he said over and over again to me ballpark franks <laughs> he said i went over there he made me franks ballpark franks <laughs> yeah that's it <laughs> that's why i'm gonna always be cool with eddie because he made me them franks <laughs> <laughs> and when I was young, they used to call me Fat Murphy. <laughs> That's when he told me that. Muhammad, how do you feel about boxing today? Has it changed since your reign? <laughs> <laughs> it's been a long time since I've done this one. <laughs> People used to think Joe Fraser's going to whip me. I can't wait to show everybody I'm coming back. And say I was old, say I was over. Say I couldn't do it no more. Mm fight Mike Tyson and show everybody I'm still great and beat everybody and born and do it in the face, still pretty, still, 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 still fast. What, what would you do? What, what were your activities? What were you into? Out here? Yeah. Just the basic stuff. You know, back then we used to play in the street and mm -hmm. play skelly and, mm -hmm. you know, and hot peas and butter. <laughs> do they still play hot peas and butter? Did y'all play hot peas? No, we didn't butter? play hot peas. What is hot peas and butter? That's when you would take, a, take like a belt and you would like hide it somewhere and everybody would try to look for it. When they get closer, you go, ooh, you're getting hot, you're getting hot. And then when they find it, there's hot peas and butter and they could whip you on the... <laughs> now I know why we didn't play it. Yeah. Very, very violent. <laughs>
for NBC mean? You know, I'm gonna let the cat out the bag. NBC mean no blacks or colors. That's what it means, right? That's why the black people gonna start their own network, the ABN network, the all black network. Nah, it was like, oh, he's not coming. And then it was like, hey, let Eddie host. And you know what made them mad? Uh, uh, I, I didn't say live from New York, it's Saturday night. I said, live from New York, it's the Eddie Murphy show. Uh -huh. <laughs> It was crazy. It was crazy. It was meetings. People were having meetings in the hallway, crying. Who did say that? Did y'all make Bill give his back? No, because I know there was a big outcry from people. They was trying to get Bill to give his trophies back. You know you f***ed up when they want you to give your trophies back. <laughs> want to give his trophy back too? He should do one show where he just come out and just talk crazy now. I would like to talk to some of the people who feel <laughs> that I should give back my trophies. <laughs> Recently, that I allegedly put the pill in the people's chocolate. <laughs> I wish somebody would come up to my house talking about give up the trophy because you put the pill in the people's chocolate. You get no. Because I'm not giving back. <laughs> and, and and who? First of all, Hannibal is a caveman's name. And you gonna just come on out and pull, push over the apple cart that Hannibal, if I ever see or meet this Hannibal Barrison person, I am going to try to kill this nigger. <laughs> what do you hate most about show business? I don't hate anything about show business. I don't hate it. I love what I do and I love this business. I love it all. If I wasn't doing this, I'd be somewhere like this. Pull a car up! <laughs> you want carb on the wax with that? <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, very much. <laughs> when you're in the position that you're in. <laughs> 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 when you're in the... <laughs> what time Tony do? <laughs> time for my break, man. <laughs> I got to go to dentist. <laughs> my tooth come out again. <laughs> <laughs> what were your thoughts on Eddie Murphy? Uh, he's funny. He's funny guy. He's just got a funny personality in general. Mm -hmm. You know, he, um, like he was just saying, seems to really just enjoy... Yeah. Getting a crack out of people. And, yeah. Um, I feel like he'd be very good with like improvising situations. Yeah. Um, I know he he's done stand up as well. So maybe we should do some stand up where it's not just a co compilation and it's, you know, a set routine. And yeah. Similar to the Bill Cosby thing that he just did there, right? Where he, you know, will probably impersonate people or give yeah. you a topic, a subject to go on. I feel like he'd be good at that. So yeah, maybe we should I was check it out. But. Thinking well through this, like I never really, because I only am familiar with him really from his movies mm -hmm. where he's playing a specific role, right? Yeah. So I've never seen any of his stand up, but I've never even really seen like him on talk shows or anything like that. But he's really good at impersonations. Yeah. Like, I never knew that about him. Yeah, I think I saw like his stand up when I was younger. Mm -hmm. And I think like I, like he was mentioning there, it was pretty vulgar. Yeah. Um, and I just, it didn't resonate that much with me at the time. I just wasn't that interested, I guess, into that style of comedy. Yeah. Or maybe I didn't appreciate it. Maybe I wasn't mature enough to appreciate yeah. it. So I think, you know, that's what he, you know, his, uh, his aura was. Uh, he kind of took on. So maybe we should check it out. But I think that's where he got his start from was the the stand-up stand comedy and then moved into the the acting roles after that oh okay cool anyways you guys can let us know in those comments yeah. we always appreciate the insights uh if you have any recommendations for a particular eddie murphy stand-up we're always interested so uh, we'll check that out if you leave a comment in the link below and uh, that's it from us today we got lots of comedy make sure you check that out and come back soon thanks for watching guys see you next time